In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use equations that have matrices. So we've done equations before, for example, 3x plus 2 equals to 6. I mean, it's pretty basic, right? You take the 2 over, you solve for x. Um, but now we're going to start using equations that actually have matrices in them. So for example, you might see something weird like that. Um, plus x equals to 1 and a 2, for example. So what we have is we have, um, or, or I mean, this is just a random example, but maybe more something like that. So what we have is we have an equation. The reason it's equation is because it's got an equal sign. Um, we have to find x, and it's got a matrix or some matrices involved. So that's the only difference is we're now going to have equations that have matrices inside them. Okay, so here's our first example. The goal is to find x. So what you'll do is you would just take this matrix to the left. So you would have 5, negative 4, then you would say subtract, and then you're going to have negative 7 and 4. Now you're just going to go subtract these. So remember the way it works is you just subtract the 5 and the negative 7. Obviously there's a minus in between them. And then you're going to do the negative 4 and the 4. Okay, so each element goes together. So they go together and they go together. So if we're to work out x, you're going to end up with um, a, a matrix as your answer. So it's going to be 5 take away negative 7, which is 12, because a negative and a negative is a positive. And then it's going to be negative 4 take away 4, which is negative 8. And so that would be the final answer. Let's do another one. So with something like this, to get a by itself, you're just going to divide every element over here by negative 2. So that's going to give you a equals to um, 2 divided by negative 2, which is negative 1, but it must be in a matrix. And then 24 divided by negative 2 is negative 12. And so here's our last example. So what we need to try to get is x, okay? So I'm going to take this matrix to the left-hand side. And so we're going to end up with negative 4, negative 43. Then that's going to become plus, and then this is going to be negative 6 and 3, like that. Okay, and that's going to be equal to 5x. So what we're going to do now is just add these together. So remember, you just add these elements together and then you would add these elements together over here. And so that's gonna end up becoming uh, negative four, negative six, that's negative 10, and then negative 43 plus three, which would be negative 40, and that's equal to five x. Then what you do is you just divide all the elements by five. So you divide this one by five and divide this one by five, because you're also dividing this side by five to get the x alone. And so your answer is going to be negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2, and then negative 40 divided by 5 is negative 8. And so that would be your answer. It would have a matrix. Now in the next lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to handle situations where um, you've got like a matrix, for example, um, and then the X is in front of the matrix, and you're going to be equal to like 1 and 4. Now, the usual temptation is that to get X alone, you would just divide. But you cannot divide with matrices. What we do instead is we use a process of inverse. And that's what I'm going to be showing in the next lesson.